This week, the Australian dollar hit a high since November, but then fell heavily as risk aversion returned to global markets. The main driver of Aussie dollar price action since the November US election has been major swings in the US dollar. From election day to around year end, the US dollar rose against all major currencies, supported by increased expectations for US growth and also higher US interest rates. However, around about the turn of the year, the US dollar started to falter and indeed year to date has fallen against all major currencies, with the Aussie strongest in that time. Doubts have been emerging over President Trump's policy agenda in terms of how much will actually be delivered and when. This week's focus is, of course, on health care reform. President Trump struggles to get agreement on this bill. The market's concern is not health care reform per se, but more what its passage or lack of passage is likely to indicate about the broader policy agenda, including tax reform and infrastructure spending. The fall in US bond yields helped the Aussie dollar rally to as far as 77.50, which was the level Martina mentioned last week as a potential cap on the Aussie this week. But then we saw the heaviest fall in US stocks since the US election. And while during this phase the US dollar fell against the yen and the euro, the Aussie dollar fell very steeply against the US dollar. This was a reminder of the Aussie dollar's traditional role of sensitivity to broad swings in risk sentiment. The Aussie dollar is often positively correlated to large swings in global equities. Since Australia stands to benefit more than most from strength in the global economy and also to lose from weakness in the economy. This was most dramatically seen after the global financial crisis. There were no major Australian economic data releases this week, but we did see the Reserve Bank minutes from its March meeting. These showed a little bit of increased concern over the domestic economy, particularly weakness in the job market and worries over slow wages growth and what this means for Australian households having so much debt linked to high house prices. Despite such concerns, pricing for the Reserve Bank cash rate is still very flat over the next six months with only a small possibility of a rate hike by year end. The global calendar is fairly quiet next week in terms of data and central bank meetings, with most eyes likely to be on the Trump policy agenda. We expect the US dollar to be broadly under pressure in the week ahead, at least against the euro and the yen. The euro is finding a little bit of extra support as risk premiums from European politics are reduced. There is relief in markets after the Dutch election as far-right Freedom Party performed below expectations. We also saw a strong performance by market favourite centrist candidate in the French presidential election, Macron. Overall though, risk aversion is likely to linger in the week ahead, helping keep a lid on the Aussie dollar to about the 77 and a quarter area, but with support coming in around 75.50. We'll speak to you next week.